Hello everyone, we are Team Awesome Sauce, and this is our TV show pitch. Our mission was to use our show for us to learn and teach others valuable management skills and concepts. The group is committed to being respectful, considerate, and punctual throughout the semester. Our main goal was to make an educational yet entertaining television show that everyone would enjoy. Our secondary objectives were to meet all deadlines and equally contribute to the project. As a group, we strived to embody our character values of integrity, originality, reliability, transparency, teamwork, and diligence. We used GoAnimate.com in order to have a wide variety of backgrounds, props, characters, and other tools that would help make our show aesthetically pleasing and humorous. It also made it possible for us to work on the episodes without having to all be together at the same time. Our target market included individuals seeking to learn management principles in a fun and interactive way. Search Marketing is a marketing company located in downtown St. Petersburg. Fred is a human resource assistant there, and he, Margaret is a human resource manager. Due to Margaret's overwhelming request, Fred decides to move to the accounting department. With so much on her plate, she decides to host a competition in which three individuals will compete for the position. Our show follows Margaret on her journey to find a qualified human resource assistant. Our storyline is as follows. Search Marketing is a firm that has helped hundreds of businesses in the Tampa Bay area prosper for the last 30 years. Margaret has been the human resource manager at Search Marketing for the past 15 years. Fred, her trusty assistant, has been around for five years. But due to Margaret's overwhelming requests and little incentives for Fred, he has decided to move to the accounting department. In an act of despair, Margaret decides to host a competition in order to find herself a new assistant. Through the use of employment agencies, job postings, the internet, and advertisements, Margaret is able to find herself three eligible candidates, Dylan, Sophia, and Nicholas. Through a variety of challenges that will test the abilities to train, fire, and correct inappropriate behavior, the contestants will get a chance to show their so-called management skills. Who will triumph in the end? Tune in to our upcoming episodes and find out. Margaret is the human resource manager at Search Marketing. She possesses good technical and conceptual skills, but lacks in her interpersonal skills. She is in charge of the hiring and selecting process. She likes to use valid selection techniques such as structured interviews when hiring new employees. Fred used to be the HR assistant at Search Marketing, but has decided to move to the accounting department. He is driven, honest, emotionally mature, likes to develop work simulations, and is good at evaluating job performances of employees. Sophia is the first contestant in our show. She has good interpersonal skills but lacks in her conceptual skills. She has used many employment agencies to help her find a job. Nicholas is our second contestant. He is overly self-confident, lacks technical skills, and always scores low on his bars test. Dylan is our third contestant. He is competitive and has also used many employment agencies like Sophia. But he always performs poorly on work simulations and that is why he has not gotten a job yet. By episode 2, Margaret has already gone out recruiting for contestants for her competition. She's posted job postings on Search Marketing's internal website so that employees within the company could apply for the position if they desired. For people who were not employees at Search Marketing, she posted advertisements in, on the internet in sites such as Indeed.com and Jobs.com. She also posted the position for employment agencies so that they could help her match people. In the second episode, she has already collected three contestants that are interested in the position. She uses a valid selection technique called structured interview to get to know them a little better. She asks them three questions each, all the same questions, to see how each would answer. 
By episode 7, all of the contestants have failed, and Margaret realizes that Fred is the only person that would be capable of working for her. She decides to pay Fred a visit in the accounting department and offers him a reorganized pay structure with increase in wages. She decides to better his incentive plan, and she tells him that she will become a more charismatic leader and improve her interpersonal skills. She also promises him a new career path that would eventually give him the title of HR Assistant Manager. The following slides will present our individual reflections and our team reflections. This is Sean's reflection. Throughout the semester, our group went through many interesting events, using animation to create a management television show that has been highly entertaining and educational. Prior to taking this course, I had not taken any formal management or even animation coursework. Using animation really brought the concepts that we have learned throughout the semester into focus. Not only were we supposed to know concepts, but we had to apply them in unique and fun ways while creating our television show. Also, working in a group of five brought on its own unique management challenges. Everyone in Team Awesome Sauce is incredible, but also come from a wide and diverse backgrounds. We were challenged to find meeting times, work together, and complete a wide variety of tasks. This has been a very interesting and fun semester. This is Florencia's reflection. When I signed up for this management class, I imagined a class which we simply read out the book, watched PowerPoint presentations, and took exams. However, I was sure in for a surprise. Adding the creative factor of having to come up with our own television show to incorporate concepts that we have learned is truly an awesome idea. At times it was hard to get everyone together, but we figured out a way that worked for us and had no trouble after. The milestones are very open to interpretation, and although multiple requirements are to be met each time, the creativity is left up to the imaginations of the group members. We are able and allowed to use a plethora of mediums, which makes the possibilities endless. This was no easy class, but it was also engaging and entertaining. I'm quite glad that I signed up for it, and I am... I hope that future students will continue to enjoy this class as much as my teammates and I did. This is Brian's reflection. Through the course of this project, I have learned so much about management, organization, and teamwork. Creating the TV show taught me practical management skills and principles in a fun and unique way that is easy to remember. Working in a group helped me personally with my communication and planning skills. The Finger Puppet Management Project has been very beneficial to me, and I know the concepts I have learned will help me in my future endeavors. This is Knox Reflection. I believe that this project was a great experience, and it taught us how to work together as a group. I know I will be doing a lot of group projects later on in my career path. The milestone kept our group on task, and not waiting till the last minute to finish everything. It taught me how to stay organized and not procrastinate like I usually do. We met up weekly and brainstormed our ideas together. Working as a team really brings out everyone's creative side. I also learned working with a team requires a lot of communication with each to complete each task. Not communicating with your team can throw off the focus and delay the assignment. Even though I do not like group projects, I think it is a good way of getting work done faster than if you were to do it individually. This is Christian's reflection. This project was pretty helpful to me in many ways. Most surprisingly, it taught me how challenging it can be to organize group tasks when everyone has different availability. Most of our team members had full-time jobs and lived off campus, which affected our ability to meet as an entire group. Even so, we used many different methods to contact each other and share ideas. Many of the group projects were even completed without having to have everyone physically present. This was only possible due to the technology available to us, and it really showed me how the age of information has changed how teams work together. My favorite thing about the class was how it was rooted in interaction and team-based design. The design challenges and videos were an interesting way to open up the mind and challenge my thinking patterns. Completing the design challenges as a group helped us learn more about each other. We all had very different ideas about how we could accomplish our tasks, and I believe we executed them very well while working cooperatively. As a team, we thought that the class was fantastic. We enjoyed getting to know the basics of management, but also getting to know each other. 
The project helped us learn the concepts because in order to know what concepts we would include in our show, we needed to read the book and there was no way around it. Each week, we would go over the concepts covered in that particular week and when we got together, everyone would pose their opinions on whether we should include concepts from that chapter covered or not. The project allowed us to become more familiar with the terms. Overall, we thoroughly enjoyed our experience and would not change it for the world. Some recommendations that we have for future students is to not make the mistake of waiting till the last minute. It may seem easy, but it is time-consuming work and will become a lot harder than it really is if you wait. If you are confused about something, just ask questions. It's better to wait a bit than to do something incorrectly. Lastly, just have fun with it. It is overall a very creative class, and even if you aren't creative, you'll get to meet lots of cool people who are and have loads of fun. Without management, a business or organization would not get very far. You may have a room full of very intelligent and capable individuals, but without a leader, much chaos and disagreements can occur. Management helps bring everything together in a cooperative way that will work best for a company and all of the individuals who dedicate their lives to making it happen. Also, management is not a concept you will find only in a human resource department or from the managers. It can be found everywhere and with everyone. It's just a matter of making decisions that are best for the company and its employees.